She likes Louis, Vuitton, Chanel, Armani, Loren, and she's mad for Madden. She likes fashion. She likes fashion. <gasps> And now, a word from our sponsors. Here's an iconic advert from a few years ago. Everyone remembers this, and it's very well made and wonderfully animated, but there are a few things that make me question the bad logic shown here. As we watch a nondescript car in an empty car park, some funky bass plays, and would you believe it? The car breaks apart like a transformer and begins to dance. And very well he, she, it does dance. It's got all the moves. Who controls this thing? If it's sentient enough to respond to music, then what's to stop it from just squishing the passengers in a rage? Take a corner wrong? You get a spike up your arse. Reverse into a post? It'll eject or seat you right out of there. What fuels it? Futuristic robots are disappointing if they run on petroleum. And if not, why are you spending a fortune filling the damn thing up every week? How do we know that the petrol isn't acting like an intoxicant? The damn robot could be as high as a kite all the time. Ooh, that explains the dancing. Where the hell do the people sit? There's no room because the robot is taking up all the apparent interior space of the vehicle. Where do they put their groceries, golf clubs, scuba gear? And would you want your kids to sit inside this knowing it's a robot and could start dancing any time some fool plays some drum and bass too loud? One careless person plays Daft Punk with the window open and it's off spring soup. What happens if you're travelling down the motorway and somebody plays Sir Duke and the damn car starts to dance at 70 miles an hour? Carnage! And this guy's just lucky he was on the roof. What happens if he's in an underground car park? Disaster. Car scraped, concrete damaged. Stupid. 
Also, where are the other cars? Where are the people? How come there was a camera crew here to film it? If this is really a secret of Alien Transformer, then it screwed up big time here. Its cover was totally blown. Why didn't the robot just stamp on the camera crew? Also, do you think this guy's pissed off because he had to be a Citroen C4 and not a Porsche Ferrari? Or something really cool? And another thing, if you spend thousands on this car, park it in the car park, and it's gone when you come back, what the hell do you tell the police? Well, it was either stolen or somebody played a disco CD with the top down and it danced the fuck out of here after them. Yeah, good luck with that. Alive with technology? When you think about it, that's just creepy. I think I'd rather have a car that's a car and not a possible supervillain. Or is from another planet or might crush my kids. <laughs> Ah, BB Goat. I really think the marketing men didn't think this one out, so I didn't buy one. Uh, and not because I didn't have the money or anything. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, tweet, share. See you next time for some more bad logic. And now, a word from our sponsors. Looks like shit. Smells like shit. Tastes like shit. Get your lips round our shit.